This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, Heather Ho there. It's Jeff Gunner Diamond. Welcome you to another sports catastrophe birthday boy. And the birthday boy for today, September the 22nd, is an icon who was a star shortstop for the Houston Astros, but then left the Astros in free agency and signed a deal with the Twins. And then he had a drama. After his first season with the Twins, he opted out. And then failed physicals meant he couldn't join other teams. So he went back to Minnesota. Probably with his tail between his legs. But anyway, he's still the Twins' main shortstop. Number four in your programs, he is Carlos Correa, who's 30 years old. Carlos Correa was born in Ponce, Puerto Rico, to Carlos Correa Sr. and Sandy Bell Oppenheimer. Kind of weird that a spit. One of the one of his parents' his last name would be Oppenheimer. So anyway, he would be training to be a first baseman because of his hitting ability. The family's house actually had to take heavy damage because of Hurricane George's. He actually went to do well at seven years old. He was in the Baseball Congress affiliate. So, anyway. Correa was actually, a, had a scholarship to a Baptist Academy and all that. His family would work a lot of odd jobs to support Carlos's baseball career and all that. He did quite well in all that. He signed a letter of commitment with the University of Miami to play baseball overseas. He was the youngest high-profile player to enter the 2012 MLB draft. And a lot of said, people said Correa would be a top 10 pick at age 17 and all that. The Astros looked at the number one pick and thought, well, we need to do something about it. So they took Carlos Correa. Houston shortstop. History was not was body at best, if you will, except for Craig Reynolds. So Correa was picked from the Puerto Rico Baseball Academy in high school, first overall by the Astros from shortstop. Minnesota didn't go badly enough. Minnesota took Brian Buxton, second overall, which actually worked out. Seattle took Mike Sanino, who was okay. Baltimore took Kevin Gosman, who's an icon with the Giants and the Blue Jays. Mark Appel was supposed to be the number one pick. But Pittsburgh picked him eight from Stanford. Appel did not sign with the Pirates and went back to school. And then the Astros actually ended up picking him up. It was amazing all of that. He was the highest selected player to be drafted directly from a Puerto Rican high school, beating Ramon Castro, who was 17 for 1994. Anyway, there were other top 10 Puerto Rican picks that would go to the States to complete their education. Francisco Lindor and Javi Baez, among others. He was the third Latino to be named number one overall pick in the MLB draft after A-Rod and Adrian Gonzalez and became the first Latin American born player to do so in Puerto Rican. So he signed with the Astros for a $4.8 million signing bonus and chose the war number 12. He was going to don it in an homage to Roberto Olivar, but decided to change his number. So anyhow, Correa went to the Futures game in 2013 and did pretty well for himself. So anyway, Correa was invited to spring training as a non-roster player and then signed him to Class A advance. And then he was Invited to spring training in 2015 and assigned to minor league camp. The Astros put him in double A and then all of a sudden they promoted him to the majors by June 2015. He debuted against the White Sox going one for four with an RBI single off Chris Sale. His first home run was off of Sack Duke the next day. So anyway. Correa actually established a new franchise record for most hits during his first 10 games with 14. So, anyway, he was rookie of the month for June. 
he was doing pretty well. Actually, by the fact by the time he played in his 42nd game in the majors, he actually led the AL in home runs by shortstops, which was weird and all that. Correa set a record for most home runs by an Astro through the first 46 games of his career with 12. Correa took part in the 2015 postseason as Houston was trying to do this huge hit and all that. Correa hit a massive home run for Houston that supposedly would have won game four in the ALDS against the Royals, which would have meant Houston would have went to the ALCS, waiting on either Texas or Toronto to face him. But of course, we all know about that giant mistake and the ball going through Correa. Like it, the ball off the pitcher's glove and right through Correa, which led the Royals to win that game. Regardless of that, in the 2015 season, in 387 bats, he batted 279. He was named AL Rookie of the Year, making him the first Astro since Jeff Bagwell to do so for the Rookie of the Year. Career was the youngest player in Astros history to hit a home run on opening day, had missed some time in September because of injury, but still put up 20 home runs, 96 RBIs in his first full season. Correa was selected to his first All-Star game in Miami in 2017, but had torn ligament and was out 68 weeks. In 422 at bats, he batted 315 with 24 hitter tots and 84 RBIs. Correa would have some impressive work, including a walk-off double to help the Astros beat the Yankees to go up 2-0 in the ALCS. But fortunately, though, the Astros won the ALCS by winning Game 7 against the Yankee Stadium on home turf. And then in Game 2, Correa, alongside Jose Altuve and George Springer, homered in extra innings as the Astros won 7-6. The Dodgers had Charlie Colbert and Yasiel Puig had home runs in extra innings, which was shocking. He had five home runs in a single game in extra innings. Correa helped the Astros win Game 7 of the 2017 World Series to become the first ever title holder by the Astros. However, you know, the, the science dealing scandal has put an asterisk next to that mark. Correa did admit that his team illegally stole signs to gain an advantage. And he did apologize for everything. Anyway, in 2018, he added 239 with 15 home runs, 65 RBIs. In 2019, he had missed opening day due to next next to this. And he had injury problems. But he got his 100th career home run before his 25th birthday. As he joined Cal Ripken and A-Rod as the only shortstops ever to do so for the 100 home runs before the 25th birthday. He was 279 with 21 home runs, 59 RBIs when he did play and hit a massive walk-off in Game 2 of the ALCS against the Yankees, which tied the series at 1. The Astros went on to win in 6, thanks to another Astro middle infielder icon by the name of Jose Altuve. Correa but by 264 with only five home runs. But of course, this was the COVID year, which ruined everything. And opposing defenses decided to do the infield shift and all that. Korea did hit a walk-off against the Rays to force game six of the ALCS against Tampa. Making him the third player ever after Big Poppy and Bernie Williams to hit multiple postseason walk-off home runs. But they still lost the ALCS to the Rays. He got to his second All Star game in 2021. And that 279 with 26 home runs, 92 RBIs, beating the infield shift, if you will. So, anyway, he won his first gold glove ever. And in game six of the 2021 World Series, he made his 73rd postseason start as part of the infield unit of Jose Atuve, Alex Brinkman, and Yuri Gurriel. Those four guys had more postseason starts by any quartet of teammates in Major League history, surpassing the Yankees with De Derek Jeter, Tino Martinez, Paul O'Neill, and Bernie Williams being on the same in the same postseason lineup 68 times together. 
Carrera was declared a free agent. Houston decided to give him a qualifying offer over $18 million for a year, but he rejected it. And he didn't have a team until late in training camp in 2022 when he signed a three-year $105 million deal with the Twins, which included opt-out provisions. He put up $35 million, the fourth highest salary in the AL. Anyway, Correa returned to Minute Maid Park for the first time August 23rd and got a standing ovation and video tribute. He batted 291 with 22 Tahir Tots and 64 RBIs. So Correa actually opted out of his final two years and became a free agent. And then December 15, 2022, the Giants announced they signed up to a 13-year deal worth $350 million. In a press conference to introduce Correa as a Giant was actually canceled three hours before it was to begin because the Giants found an issue with Correa's physical exam and they were worried about Correa's ankle. And the Giants wanted to renegotiate. So Scott Boras, the greedy bastard sometimes he is known for, reached out to other teams on Chris' behalf and reached an agreement with the Mets for a 12-year, $350 million thing. But after the physical examination, they had worries about Chris' ankle. So anyway, the Mets wanted to renegotiate with Korea, but Boras re-engaged with the Twins. So the Twins gave him a six-year, $200 million deal. So basically, he left, he had great a great contract win from San Fran and the Mets, but that terrible ankle of his. Correa would bat 230, which is a career low. However, Correa redeemed his regular season by putting up some key numbers in the wildcard series against the Blue Jays. The Twins finally won their first playoff game since 2004, which was shocking, and then his first playoff series since 2002, but the Astros would take down Correa in the LDS. And in 2024, the Twins are chasing for a playoff spot as of right now, as we speak. Time will tell if they made it. He was six foot four, 220 pounds. I thought Correa was short. I guess it was Altuve, but yeah, he's 6'4", as a tall shortstop. He relies on footwork to field the ball. Correa was part of Puerto Rico's team in the 2017 World Baseball Classic and played third base because Francisco Lindor was the shortstop and Javi Baez went to second base. So they both were shortstops by proxy. Correa did go 333 during the tournament with three home runs, nine RBIs, and a home run in the semifinals. Correa would have played for Puerto Rico in the previous World Baseball Classic in 2023, but because he was anticipating a second child, he couldn't do it. So anyway, Correa actually proposed to his girlfriend, Miss Texas USA, Danielle Rodriguez, on national TV after winning the World Series. In a, marriage, in a courthouse ceremony in November 11, 2019, they had a child and a son, and then their second child also was a boy. So they have two boys. He does have a residence in the Houston area. And his brother, Juan Carlos Correa, was actually, born, was actually drafted by the Astros in the 2018 draft, but he didn't. I don't think he's done anything. He's involved in charity work after Hurricane Harvey destroyed Houston and his hometown Puerto Rico was destroyed by Hurricane Maria. So time will tell if Carlos Correa will be the big boy that everyone is anticipating him to be. Anyway, I'm just going to do.